Hello there, my name is Miles Pitcher. I'm the owner of Superior Lending. I have another mortgage tip for you this week. We're going to talk about the Federal Reserve and their update. Uh, that's breaking news today. And then also continuing with our education or introduction of some different non-QM loan products. Today we'll talk about the asset depletion. Here's my contact info. You can scan that QR code. All right. Rates as of today, uh, for those who don't know, this is an inverse chart. And so as the chart moves down, rates are moving up. Um, so the movement today really has been attributed to comments from the Federal Reserve. They had their meeting today. We'll talk more about that. Um, we had a little improvement, but we're starting to uh, move down on the chart, which means rates are moving up on us a little bit, but still great rates. Um, yeah, absolutely great rates, but just be aware that we have inflation coming in. In fact, let's talk about that. So the Federal Reserve met today, and because of the increasing inflation pressures, they have announced today, and this was sooner than they expected, they announced that the federal, the Fed funds rate will be hiked or raised three times next year in 2022. Um, they're guessing that around June, the first hike will happen. Uh, this is a fluid situation. It can change depending on where unemployment goes, where things go with inflation, and also where things go with the Omicron virus. Uh, they also, we knew that they were tapering or s slowing down the purchasing of mortgage-backed securities. And so these really are two contrary things. So by the Fed buying mortgage-backed securities and treasuries, it keeps the interest rates lower, artificially lower. But now with inflation coming in, rates are on the rise to counteract that inflation. Then the other piece of it is the Omicron wild card. And right now we don't know how serious that's going to be, but if it typically when something like this, a pandemic happens, money is going to leave the stock market and move to bonds, a place of safety, which will give us better rates. So there's things moving, but the the big news today is the rate hikes coming uh, to counteract the inflation that's happening in the economy. All right, reminder of the uh, new 2022 conforming loan limits and also the FHA one unit loan limit. Um, the two, three and four unit limits are also higher than they have been. Let me tell you about the asset depletion loan and I I like to call these non-agency loans. Basically, these are loans that's outside of Freddie, Fannie, FHA. Now, there are asset depletion loans in that you can do on a conventional loan, but we're going to talk about the ones that are um, non-agency. So this is really for clients that have difficult to document income, or maybe they don't have enough income uh, to qualify and so they need to add in some of the asset depletion income to make their ratios work. For example, maybe a client has a pension or social security, but that's not quite enough to qualify for the home they wanna buy. So there, but they have a very large either um, retirement account, 401k, IRA. We can count those assets as part of their income to qualify them for that purchase. Um, we can combine different types of accounts, whether it's a brokerage account, IRA account, 401k, uh, to do the asset depletion. Um, they will have to have some reserves available and they need to have assets that equal 110% of the purchase price. So if they were buying a $100,000 home, which is near impossible to find right now, they would need to have $110,000 in liquid assets. So typically what happens is we total up the accounts, we divide it by 60 months, and that gives us 
an income number off of the assets. Then if they have any other, uh, other income, such as Social Security, a pension, we add that in. That becomes their income or qualifying income number. So that's kind of how it works. It's a cool little tool that doesn't get used a lot, but boy, if somebody is close to being able to qualify for the property they want and can't quite make it, this is a killer product. We just did one for a gentleman who just, we did one, it was uh, just a few weeks ago. He had just barely retired, and so he had no income, and but he had a very, very large portfolio of um retirement accounts and stocks and we just did an asset depletion on those uh on those and when i hope it's obvious but when i say asset depletion it doesn't mean you actually have to liquidate those uh, you just have to show that those funds are available in the brokerage account and that they are like in mutual funds or money markets or things like that that could be liquidated if you need to let me know if you have any questions. Uh, we love helping our clients to have options and understand all the fees on the loans we do. Have a great week. Miles Pitcher with Superior Lending.